Welcome back to It's All Geek to Me, a podcast where two geeks are hired to take care of a haunted hotel for the Ooh, winter. Ooh, that was fun, actually, when we did that. I loved that winter. Yeah, although we did accidentally kill some Well, people. you know, it happens sometimes. Yeah. Well, you know, all work and no play, right? <laughs> well, today we are talking <laughs> <the> about... <laughs> We're not killing anybody. We're today. not killing anybody today. We're doing a nice little fun family child movie from our past. Not as child friendly as I remember it being. Yeah, I have a lot of thoughts on that. Well, we should say what it is first. The first Pokemon <laughs> the first movie. First ever Pokemon movie. Which is so funny to me that it was called Pokemon, the first movie, Mewtwo Strikes <laughs> Back. And I was like, damn, they know that they're going to be popular and they're going to have more than one movie. Yeah. Because well, it wasn't it like... It wasn't originally called the Pokemon first movie. Really? No. Oh. That's I like watched, the I first f- World War. They didn't call it that. Because <laughs> I feel like I watched like a real old version of it and it said the first movie but i guess maybe the, when it went the to version DVD? that i watched had japanese titles so i don't know what it said oh did you oh you did you watch it with english voices yeah of oh, course okay, okay no those were iconic voices to my child i know i needed to but hear it was them. the visuals were not in english oh interesting okay mine was oh fun weird well whatever anyway <laughs> <laughs> i have a vhs somewhere in my parents house of it but yeah i don't know which version that was yeah yeah i actually fun fact did have the Pokemon Yellow version in Japanese when I was a kid because it hadn't come out in English yet. Well, fun fact, the movie that we're talking about today, I saw in theaters. Really? Yeah. In 98? I went to see it in theaters, yeah. I don't know if I did. I don't remember it. No, I did. Before we get into the movie, let's talk about our history with Pokemon. We're not going to do a little flashback. We're just going to talk about it with you guys here. Because I am quite the expert. Yeah, Kelly is quite the Pokemon expert. And we have differing experiences with Pokemon. And actually, our little friends who are joining us today are part of my experience with Pokemon. (laughs) These are not all Pokemon. They're not Pokemon. I know. (laughs) I just noticed that. No, this is the only Pokemon. I know it. this one. Do you know this? Have you seen this Pokemon I, I before? Think, is that a Mewtwo? Who's that Pokemon? <laughs> Do you ever see that? Who's that Pokemon? And it's like a ball. It's and Pikachu. It's, like, it's, that, it's actually mean? a Jigglypuff oh, upside down. Upside down. No, I haven't seen but that. But it's like, oh, it looks like a Voltorb. No, I've seen the one where it's like the guy screams and he's like, guy. it's Pikachu. And they're like, it's Clefairy. And he's like, damn it. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Whatever that is. I have seen that one. Sometimes they're misleading. But when I was a kid, I was always like, too easy. Give me a hard one. Yeah, I know. You know? No, the reason I brought these guys out, though, because I feel like Pokemon existed in a time in our childhood alongside other anime and Japanese media for kids. Wrong. Well, you only experienced <laughs> one. But I'm I would say there's like the the big five, I would call them. Okay, wait. Can I guess them? Okay. I mean, Guess I'm, them? The big five? You can't just know them? I can't think of... I can think of these three. I know okay. this is a Digimon and that's a Sailor Moon. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a Sailor Moon. No. Is it? No, this is, this is Artemis. He's it. a cat. He's actually married. To the cat on my shirt, Luna. Wow. And I have him tattooed on my leg. Oh, that's who that is? Okay, okay. But everyone always says, oh, that's Luna. And I'm like, no, who that's else? Artemis, actually. What other? Yu Gi Oh? Yu Gi Oh and Dragon Ball Z would be the big five. In oh, my oh. But yeah, those were like the five that were super popular Japanese mm-hmm. media from our childhood. Okay. And I only experienced the three that are represented today. So Yu Gi Oh and Dragon Ball Z, we will not be touching mm-hmm. on at all today. I only experienced Pokemon, so I will only be talking about <laughs> Pokemon today. Well, I I mean we probably won't talk about Sailor Moon. I just wanted to fill the couch with cute, cuddly animals. Yeah, Ryan this is also Ryan couldn't be yeah, here today. Unfortunately Ryan couldn't be here today, so we thought we'd fill his spot with my stuffed animals. With friends. Yeah. But this this is a Digimon and he's actually true to size. This is how big he's, he is. He's he's well loved. Okay. <laughs> that guy is loved. I put him in the washing machine and he came out looking dirty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's not that well loved. Yeah, his name is Patamon. He the looks. Way. Oh, he's a little Patamon learner. He's a little Patamon learner, and he goes, "What's his? What's his? 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 He's got a." Do they say their own name? They talk. They have voices. They speak. I can't even begin to tell you how much I hate that. Do you know what Digimon's even about? I assume it's just Pokemon. It's literally not, and that this is why it bothers me that there's always like a oh Pokemon versus Digimon because they're literally not even remotely similar. So I'll give you the description of Digimon, and then. The description of what I think Pokemon is. I think you might be wrong about what Pokemon is because you you have a limited experience. All right, with well Pokemon. let's hear. So Digimon okay. is about eight besties from Tokyo. That's a lot of people to eight keep besties. track of. I know, but they're but that's fun because then you get to like choose who you are. But anyway, eight besties from. Tokyo. They're all kids. They all have their little mascots with them. They're little Digimon. Each of them have their own. Are they machines? They're digital. Okay. So basically what it is, is there is a digital Like how world. Yu-Gi-Oh is cards, but they like show what they are IRL. Actually, no, I don't know if that's I what Yu-Gi-Oh is. I don't know what Yu-Gi-Oh is about at all. 
I love you know, in Yu-Gi-Oh, that show neither one of us have ever watched or talked about ever and don't care about. <laughs> that one. Yeah. No, so in Digimon, they get transported to a digital world that exists on top of our world. And there's just sort of bad stuff happening in the digital world. So they need to bring balance to the digital world to save the actual yeah. world. Yeah. <laughs> Is this the Matrix? Yeah, it is the Matrix. That's why you liked the Matrix growing up. Because I loved Digimon. Because it was Digimon. And yeah, so that's what Digimon is about. And what I like about Digimon is so he and and her as well, Palmon over here, they get big. They get big, they get scary, they can fight. But then when they're done and they're tired, they get back to their like cute little selves again. Pokemon can do that too now. By well, the they way. couldn't when I watched it. So <laughs> whatever. And did so you then, watch it? I did watch up, it. Yeah. You watched the show? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so that's what Digimon is. Pokemon is about a bunch of snotty kids who take a bunch of well-meaning Pokemon out in the world and force them into servitude and fighting pits. Okay. First of all, we're not friends anymore. (laughs) I want to say that I don't actually think that's what Pokemon is, but it kind of is. So I actually wanted to discuss that in this episode because... When Pokemon Red and Blue came out in the U.S., it changed my life. My brother and I bought it. We played it. I never stopped. (laughs) You literally didn't. I have not stopped. In fact, I don't know if you know this. I watched up to Pokemon X. Yeah, I didn't watch that far. I don't think I watched past the original. I basically watched it up until I moved out of my parents' house. Oh, my gosh. So I I watched it past my teens. Yeah, no, see, I feel like Digimon and Sailor Moon made it Mm -hmm. into my adult life. Pokemon did not. Which you know, because you Mm -hmm. know I only played, because I wasn't allowed to have handheld games as a kid. So my friend had Pokemon Red. And when I would see her, I would play it, but you can only have one save file. So I was never able to save it. So I never, I know you had a thing where you thought the whole game was palette town for a while i really never got past pallet town because i never got to play that far so i used to play so me and my brother would always get the opposing version yeah, so we could so trade both, obviously yeah. and obviously at one point he had silver i had gold and i was curious about the differences back then there weren't many differences now it's more now it's apparent more. yeah but i used to play on his silver without saving and see how far i could go and i remember the furthest i ever got was the fourth badge damn i was like speed running you it. were like doing it no, I never really got that far. But then when I started streaming on Twitch, mm. like what, four years ago, three years ago, whatever it was, Around. I played Red for the first time fully mm-hmm. through. And then I played Emerald. And Emerald was so fun. So this is actually my fun fact about myself. I think being a person who started when Pokemon first came out in the US, a lot of people could consider me a Gen 1-er. And that's what they call people who are like, the first 150 well, then I'm a Gen Pokemon. Too. No, you're not. <laughs> the first 150 Pokemon, they say, they claim, this is the Gen 1-ers, not me, are the best. Everything else, uninspired. Oh, it just goes downhill from I there. know your favorite Pokemons. Pokemans. Pokemon. Pokemon. Just singular. Amphros is one of them. My favorites have changed. So, but oh. you can tell me what my top three were well, back I in 2020. Well, I know you like Amphros. Yeah. And you like, fan. I don't know if Sandshrew was in your top three, but you were a Sandshrew fan. Wrong. Well, I knew it wasn't your top three. That's no. what I just said. What so I, I said was is, right. First of all, it's Sans Slash. I second said of that. all, no, true. Not that he was a favorite. That's the one I would want as a pet. Oh. Can we talk wow, about? Wow, so your pet wouldn't be your favorite. Cool. Okay. No. Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't battle with him. He would be my companion. Can we talk about the fact? <laughs> oh, so you wouldn't force him to be a, a fighting pit? <laughs> We're going to talk about that in a second. But I'm not a Gen Oneer. My favorite Gen is Generation Three. Yeah, which is Emerald. Which is Emerald. Yeah, and it's also Fire and that's Red as far up as I know. Yeah. So but top three. Tell me. Do you know what my third? was back in the day well well it wasn't sand slash oh yeah so. you didn't know what my second was either wait so. give me a clue it's a dark type wait what did i say was my favorite i don't know i just know ampharos was one of them i had ampharos i know i said flygon was one of them oh yeah the bird which is crazy is flygon not a bird flygon is a dragon <laughs> I couldn't be more offended. Everything that we're this whole episode, this episode is just gonna make me offending this you. This is gonna hurt my feelings. I don't know what I said my third favorite was. I feel like it was definitely a water type of sorts. But my favorites have changed. It doesn't matter. Point is, 50% of the reason why we moved to the desert is because my favorite Pokemon are desert type Pokemon. <laughs> and you thought maybe you'd find some out here? And I thought, well, listen, the route in Emerald where the desert is is where all of my favorite Pokemon are. Oh. And I was like, I could live there. If Pokemon were real, which is obviously my greatest dream okay (laughs) we're gonna talk about it i know that you're offended because of the fighting situation we're gonna talk about it but i would love to have just as pets a sand slash i would love to have a cacturn just to like be my bodyguard do you know what a cacturn is do you know what is a yeah palmon turns into 
evil a big cactus. cactus. Not yeah. evil. Well, cactus is this. This is voiced type. by Anna Garduño, my incredible voice acting coach. Actually, isn't that crazy? And she was so. She Did, was. Was um, it your favorite? Mimi up? was her companion. Mimi was me. I was Mimi. Is this what I sound like when I'm talking about yeah. Pokemon? Dude, I used to LARP Digimon. I'm not even kidding, dude. Like That's I LARPed fine. it. We would go around the neighborhood and LARP. So, okay, I'm starting to understand. In a previous episode, you were saying like I was not cool. I was not popular. Now I get it. Yeah, you get it. Right? But you still were invited <laughs> to parties, and I was not. So I was if they knew I was a LARPer, they probably wouldn't have invited would have. me. I didn't even do any of that fun stuff, and I still wasn't invited. So. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to have and like a Flygon. I just want to have them as like my bodyguards. Sandslash and Cacturn, if they were like chilling in front of my house nobody would mess with you nobody would ever mess with me no. that would be so fun let's talk about the fighting thing it is addressed from the very beginning of pokemon because i'm always like oh I wish this is pokemon- kelly's well actually yeah, moment actually, <laughs> here's the thing every time i'm like oh i wish pokemon were real people are like well actually it is you can do dog fighting if you're evil and i'm like okay first of all that's not what pokemon is pokemon have magic powers that's not real yeah when do you have a little mouse that shoots electric bolts at you okay always actually <laughs> it's common no okay. and then a little about your little friend who makes you fall asleep every time she sings i honestly wish that i had a jigglypuff to put me to sleep every night and then you'd have marker on your face every single morning oh, true yeah <laughs> but yeah it is She's canon from little... the beginning of the show and it is addressed in this movie that pokemon canonically enjoy it they're not fighting they're, they're battling fun. yeah and it's like fun to show off their do powers they, do they like living in the ball though what does the ball look like it's like a freaking paradise I, to... <laughs> I wasn't gonna say it but you did it's like a paradise you're turning there. that into my drool pillow <laughs> anywho canonically pokemon enjoy battling they're inside their ball you can see there's like art of what it looks like inside the okay. ball it's like a little paradise okay so it's fun although pikachu hates being in the ball yeah i did know that pikachu does and i guess togepi does does too i used to have a togepi you strike me as a togepi person that's one because well, i was mimi pokemon. i was mimi for what did i say i said mimi who's mimi <laughs> misty sorry Mimi's the girl from her companion. Leah, wait a second. Misty. Did we go out on Halloween that year together when you were Misty at that frat house? Yeah. Oh! <gasps> I've, I don't know why I was thinking that in my head when I was watching the movie. I was like, who was that girl that was dressed up as Misty? That was you? Was me. Wow, we have known each other for a really, really long, long time. time. <laughs> I'm so horrified. Yep, 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 yep. I was you, Misty. You've known me through many lives. Same. <laughs> Anywho, point is, we watched Pokemon. Canonically, they like to battle. It's just fun for them. And they don't die. And also, like, if you're not evil which most people in Pokemon world aren't, you care for your Pokemon and you like want it. It's like, it's basically like karate. Leah, like like it's- Stockholm syndrome a little bit. No, Leah, stop. <laughs> I'm going to leave. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, I, I will leave this so podcast. I did, I did actually know that Pokemon like to fight. I just wanted yeah. to get It is mad. actually, it's funny enough because it's, I feel like it is addressed fairly early on. And I, I think, especially now watching the first movie, it's so interesting to see how the conflict of Pokemon has evolved because mm-hmm. there's like in gen 3 my favorite generation the conflict is that these two groups of extremists want to like take over the world but like one wants to flood the entire world so the water pokemon can just have the whole world yes and one type. wants to dry out the entire world <gasps> so the water type will die so that the ground types will be chilling Ooh. and vibing what did i call the ground types earth types yeah earth types yeah Wish kelly liked that type. when i kept calling them earth types i gotta say you playing that for the first time and me watching and <laughs> screaming yeah it was it was tough that it was, was tough for that you. was a hard watch for me <laughs> let's get into the movie yeah i did not remember almost a single thing about this movie did you i remembered one moment but it was it was different in my head than it actually played out oh what, what moment was it It was like right at the end in my head i had this visual of pikachu running to ash and ash being like down and when the mew and mew two, like the pink and the blue balls like that i remember them like hitting each other so in my head they were on like a platform doing their ball hitting each other ash was on like a blue bridge and then like pikachu ran to him that's not but they were like in a gym i wonder if you were superimposing a little bit of super smash brothers maybe but i also remembered it being like a really vivid blue but actually when ash like wakes up and then everything's like good again it did actually turn to that brighter blue so the blue was correct but just visually the way it was laid out in my head was wrong but that moment i did remember of ash falling and the only remember the yeah 
the only thing I remember is Ash being, I, I didn't know he was like kind of dead in my head as a kid turned to stone. Turned to stone. Mm-hmm. I still thought that. Yeah, I guess he still kind of is. But in, I feel like it was just like, he's dead, but we don't want to say it. Yeah. So. Well, for Dundee Stone. But let's go back. Yeah. Back to, to the, the beginning. beginning. <laughs> okay. <laughs> First 20 minutes of that movie. What? I don't remember that at all. First of all, I cried the entire time. That's so funny. <laughs> Okay. Was it the nostalgia of it? No. I don't remember a single thing about it. I don't know what this was. This was a story about a man who lost his young daughter and became... Leah, did we watch the same movie? This is a man who lost his young daughter and had a life goal to clone her and bring her back to life. And the only way that... Leah, why do you look so confused? It started with Mewtwo being like, oh, we made Mewtwo. Okay. You didn't read between the lines. I'm going to explain it to you. <laughs> I'm shocked that you didn't pick up on this because this is like the type of thing. Wait, that the man in... with the Persian? That's the name of the Pokemon, right? Oh my gosh, Giovanni. And no. That's Leo. Giovanni? That's Giovanni. I know Giovanni. Yeah, he's bad. He runs Team Rocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, he's yeah, also yeah. a gym leader. Yeah. Okay. So basically what we learned in the beginning, they were like hacking through the forest and they were like, we got to find DNA of Mew, right? And he's like, but Giovanni is funding this. But that's not why I'm doing this. I'm doing this because I have a different purpose oh i didn't have the scene i didn't watch the scene you got it this wasn't in my version leah this was so important yeah no it started with them like with mewtwo like coming out of the leah there was a whole 20 minute backstory of this guy whose child died and then he was like i need to clone my daughter but the only way to do it is be funded by team rocket and make a clone of mew <laughs> this scene did not happen in my leah, movie you have to watch I'm freaking out. I can't believe it. I was like sobbing. I was sobbing. His wife left him because he was so obsessed. Wait, this sounds good. It was so I'm sad incredible. I didn't watch it. I was so sad. She left him a little note in the wedding ring and was like, I can't be with you anymore because like he made a clone of his daughter and he was like, I'm going to get her back for us. I'm oh like, my God. I'm going to cry talking about I it. I can't watch it right now because you're going to start crying. I'm going to be overwhelmed. Just explain it to me. We'll pretend That's I it. it. So he is funded. So he's like, I'm going to make clones of Pokemon, but I'm secretly also going to be cloning my daughter because that's what's really important to me and then (laughs) so we broke her Mewtwo is a baby and he's so little and he's so cute and he like doesn't understand anything and they're all like all the clones are mind speaking to each other and the girl the little girl is teaching him how to be like a Pokemon and then she dies I'm so how did I not see this and then all the other Pokemon die and he's really upset. I'm tearing up so much. And all the Pokemon are like dead and he just has to live with it. And then he, he's like, I can't be like this anymore. What's my purpose? I'm crying. I can't believe you're crying. I cried and the I can't entire believe I didn't movie. watch this scene. I was like, why are you not overwhelmed? When I told you after that I cried so much, I'm, I'm trying to clean up. I assumed myself. when you told me, because Kelly told me she cried before we started. I oh. assumed it was like the nostalgia of it. Because yeah, what I watched... So it was only like an hour movie. And I was like, damn, this is a short movie. It was a short movie, but that beginning was very important. Yeah, no, I didn't watch any of that. It literally started. It must have been a different version. Maybe it was added in later or something. You know what it is? I might have taken it out because it was too intense mm-hmm. for kids. Did I watch a different version that was the Japanese version? Potentially, because something I want to mention, Sailor Moon, there are two sailors in Sailor Moon that are canonically dating, but in the American version, they're cousins because lesbians are wrong, apparently. (laughs) I'm going to clip that, but just lesbians (laughs) are wrong. Lesbians are wrong. Yeah, I get canceled. So when I was watching it, I was like, I have no memory of this. I must skip it in the beginning because you know what I do remember about the original VHS? There's a beginning, like a little mini movie in the beginning. Do you remember this? Mm. Where Pikachu and all the pals, they're like on vacation, which I guess is basically a daycare, but like stuff goes awry. That seems familiar. But yeah, no, that doesn't sound familiar. So that's really interesting. Just the fact that you watched it and you said the version you had was in Japanese. Mm-hmm. I Yeah, it but must it was, have been taken there out. Was all, there was, it was all English dubbed. Interesting. It was so, Leah, I had to stop it and cry. <laughs> I had to well, stop I'm gonna and cry. I'm going to have to watch it later. So Okay, so you... The beginning for you was Mewtwo. As an adult, like breaking out and then being like, oh, we made this Mewtwo out of Mew. And he's like, I'm evil, actually. I'm going to kill you guys. No, that's not. He had motivation. Oh, my God. He killed them because they they did that. And then 
Giovanni comes and he's like, let's be partners. He was the one who funded them cloning Mew. Yeah. So let me pull out my notes too. Cause I, Leah, I can't believe you didn't see that. I, I had a really harrowing experience watching that because I was devastated. Because I don't remember that from my childhood. Could somebody else tell me? Is that a different version? Yeah, I don't know. Watch me like having watched a fan made version. Yeah, right. It like wasn't even real. No, yeah, that I don't remember. But no, it it just. Um, I literally wrote in my notes. I have no memory of this. Yeah, no, I don't either. <laughs> Did they clone a freaking human? Oh my god, this is horrifying. <laughs> yeah, not the version I watched. It was just like him in the ball, and then he breaks out of the ball because he's like ball. He like it wasn't like a it was like a chamber. Ball. A chamber. That's probably better. Yeah, okay. but I felt like it was it like was... a round yellow chamber. Okay. That's fine. And he breaks out and he's like, oh, well, like, you guys made me and you did make the strongest Pokemon. Oh, wait, and, and they trained him for a while, too. Yeah, I didn't see that. Okay, there was, so there was No, I moment. literally saw with him, like, he started with killing all of them. Yeah, so there was also a little training montage where we found out he is the most powerful Pokemon in existence. Yeah. Which, back in the day, was true. Not anymore. Canonically, he was who only level s- 70, though. Who would you say is the most... Well, now there's, like, God as Pokemon. There's God like a is po- a Pokemon? There's a Pokemon God, yeah. Oh, Ar- a Pokemon God. Arceus. But no, he is, <gasps> oh, Arceus. He is God. Yes. Yeah, he, he is God. And he, like, created. Okay. But then there's also, like, there's Pokemon from another dimension that are super messed up. Mm-hmm. And they're also really strong. And then there's also that Eternatus... I'm going like this. That's what he looks like. Eternatus? Is that how you say it? I don't, I don't know. know. There are so many legendaries now. Yeah. It's insane. I know. I know them all. I could name them all for you actually right now. Oh, you like Pokemon? Name the first 151 Pokemon <laughs> in order. Number one. Charmander? Is, is Charmander number one? I'm pretty sure Bulbasaur is. Okay. But, but it's I'm one not. of the, those three. Yes. Who did Charizard? Uh, Charmander, Charmeleon. <laughs> yeah. Charizard. Yeah. Bulbasaur? Mm-hmm. Bulba. Oh, wait. Bulbasaur. Venusaur. Wrong. No, that's a, the big one. Bulbasaur? Is it Soar? Bunasaur? Something Soar. Bulbasaur? Maybe it's Soar. I don't know. I'm trying to think. <laughs> what <would> Ivysaur? <laughs> Ivysaur. All right, Squirtle. Squirtle. Blastoise is the big guy. Well, you you just watched this movie, so obviously you know Squirtle no, and Blastoise. No, I know. I know them though. I knew them. And she didn't even call him Blastoise. She called him Shell Shocker. Shell Shocker. Yeah. So I love that. Imagine they had I was things. like, oh, the the big guy, <laughs> Shell Shocker. I know Pokemon. That would have been so embarrassing. So impressed. Oh God, it's I see him in my mind's eye. You want to just tell you? Tell me. War Turtle. War Turtle. Mm. I never would have got that. Okay, (laughs) wait, there was another important thing Mm. that was in the beginning that you didn't see. When the Pokemon were dying, the clones were dying. It was devastating. I was sobbing. The little girl, whose name I wrote down, Amber, was saying that legend has it that... I'm going to tear up again. Legend has it that Pokemon tears are filled with light. So (gasps) she mentions that. That actually does help. Yeah, the ending <laughs> a lot that really yeah. fills in a plot hole that I was confused about. It's actually about. mentioned a second time as well, which I also didn't remember from the original, so it might have just been shoehorned oh in there. Gosh. I don't know. Okay, so the first thing I wrote after that whole sequence, and then Giovanni is like, Let's did you get the Giovanni being let's be partners? Yeah, and yeah. I, I wrote, Oh, partners, I love a cross species love. <laughs> I knew that's not what they meant. How dare you? Joke. Business partners in evil, but <laughs> yeah. it didn't even end up working out that way. So I saw that training sequence where he okay. there was like the Onyx and all the wild Taurus, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know yes. Pokemon names. Yes, and there was a trainer who looked like Gary Oak in there. And I was like, I know is Gary. it? He yeah. was my rival. He sure was. Yeah. I named him Kelly in my run, though. You did. <laughs> And I always said, smell you later. I won't touch my nose because it still hurts to (laughs) pinch my nostrils, but Uh, smell you later. That's important. So yeah, and then we get to Ash. Before we get to Ash, though, I have something I would like to say about Mewtwo. Okay. Do you remember- his hips don't lie. That's kind of what I was going to say, actually. (laughs) Do you remember- I don't remember. It was like some big YouTuber did like a smasher pass on Pokemon, and then a bunch of other people copied and also did a smasher pass. No, but that sounds like a smosh kind of thing. It could have been smosh. Smosher pass. (laughs) Smosher pass. Mewtwo? Smash. I don't I don't participate. <laughs> the voice, the hips, I mean the, I, the chest. I don't participate in this game. Okay, well, that was all I wanted to say. The internet has ruined Vaporeon for me. Smash. I, I can't even use that creature. I'm so offended. Well, I'm I, smashing Mewtwo, but uh anyway. I will not. But yeah, we, we meet Ash, Misty, and Brock. Mm-hmm. We and got Brock. He's 
chefing it up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That kind of looked like shanking, but I, he, he was, was chefing it up. Yeah, like, honestly, the food looked good. The food always looks good. And Bronk is a—I don't know if you remember this, but he is a bit of a chef. I didn't remember that about him, but I did remember that he was a flirt, womanizer. Yeah, or a flirt. Yeah, no, I mean it was very innocent, and also it comes in handy. <laughs> yeah, because he does recognize, he, and he also—I don't know if you remember this from the show, but he could recognize which Nurse Joy and Officer was Denny them was in each which one. city. Yeah, 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 yeah. That I did remember too. He was very good at that. Mm-hmm. I did have a little bit of a crush on him growing up. I was going to say, I think I'm him in this movie. I think I didn't. I, I no longer have a crush on him. <laughs> no, I was like really trying to think of who I was in this movie, but I think it was because of how flirty he was being that made me think I was him. Okay. I didn't even think about who I was in this movie I know, because was, I was busy it crying. It was kind of hard to think of who I was because like I know these characters so well. Before we even get into it, there's like a little battle. It's just some guys like, hey, you want to fight? Yeah. So fun. You hated it. No, I loved it. <laughs> they no. were playing the pokemon theme song yeah but it was like and excuse my language you're gonna hear a bleep right now but it was the pokemon theme song but like a c-ty version of it it was like a remix <laughs> but he was like my heart's so true he was like doing the crazy runs yeah gotta catch him up. this is like not where the runs were but that, i was yeah. like damn this is like this it is was the so c-ty version oh my gosh you just stopped saying that one thing i did want to point out yeah couple of things actually i wrote them down first of all yeah i'm looking at my phone because i'm looking at my notes just he so you guys know. the not guy texting. that he was fighting had a generation two pokemon was that the first <gasps> view of it wait what pokemon did he have he had a don fan oh, okay the i wrote elephant. some elephant thing yeah That's what that I was the one that was the one and then i also wrote down interesting lmao at squirtle using bubble against him a champ and winning oh yeah because they can't do water against rock types okay first of all machamp is not a rock type he's a fighting type oh second of all sorry Machamp I was is thinking... a third level evolution and squirtle is a baby wait okay that was something i actually wanted to point out because i did notice that like later on in the movie when we got to the island and the trainers that were there they... she's very underpowered the, why why did they invite him because his pikachu is definitely level 100 okay and this this i did remember from the show i remember that charizard was a little baby and not a little baby a little he... baby in the sense that he didn't listen he didn't he did yeah. whatever he wanted so that i remember in the game basically the way that they explained it in the show was that you have to have a certain amount of badges in order to be able to train a to, pokemon that yes. strong mm-hmm. so i guess they kind of explained it away by being like you didn't train him well so he's just never gonna listen but he just to you doesn't have enough badges yet but also his pikachu has to be at level 100 by now because otherwise he would die why from doesn't everything. pikachu ever evolve to raichu there was a whole episode about well, it Well, kelly i don't remember well when he went to see lieutenant surge uh-huh he was against a Raichu and he kept on losing and the Pikachu was getting real messed up and he was like in the hospital and he was super upset and Ash produced the a Pokemon Thunderstone. The Pokemon Center actually, okay, not the pun- hospital. The Poke Center. <laughs> Expert over here. I love Universal healthcare. <laughs> Ash produces a thunderstone and he's like, hey, do you want to be a Raichu? Because I will hook you up right now. Oh, because you need, he can't just evolve. He needs the he thunderstone. He needs the thunderstone. Right, yeah. Right, and right. Pikachu kicks it away he's and like, is like, no. F no, I'm not doing that. I'm going to beat this and Raichu like, on my own. I'm going to beat him with agility. I'm going to beat him with my speed because Pikachu is faster than Raichu. But I don't know if that's true. Well, you should know, Kelly. I should know. <laughs> but okay. I let me impress you with my stats. Squirtle using bubble. That is a 20 power move against so much amp. You have to trade to get him a champ. You know who I was thinking of? The rock type? You There was a golem there who also got beat up. No, nope, I am thinking of Machamp. I just thought he was a rock type. I'm seeing him in my head now. So golem, so at, at one point, Pikachu comes out and he beats up a bunch of guys. Yeah. One of them is a golem who is a ground type. Yeah. It wouldn't have worked on Yeah, them. no, that I did know that electric doesn't work on ground because I did that quite often in my run and Kelly kept you being sure like, did. what will you learn? And I'm like, you never, never learned. Actually. You never learned. Never. Yeah, I wrote Pikachu thunderbolting a golem to fainting. LOL. That's what that's like one of the things that bothers me, but it's always bothered me on the show. But there is actually an anime called Pokemon Origins that's on YouTube. I believe it was actually an official Pokemon thing. Yeah. It is what Pokemon with Ash should have been. Okay. Beautifully made. I cried during that too. Any Pokemon content, I will cry. You'll cry, yeah. Every time a Pokemon trailer comes you feel out. Teary eyed. No, not Are um, you are you crying yet? <laughs> okay. Get, get this jiggly puff out of my face. I'm jiggling it in your face. No, thank you. No, every time a trailer comes out, every time an update from Pokemon, the channel comes mm-hmm. out, cry. I remember when Pokemon Go was announced. I remember specifically where I was at work. I ran to my desk. I started sobbing. And my boss was like, is everything okay? Like, Pokemon has a new game. And I was game. like, they're making it real. It's going to be real. And he's like, okay, you're going to take the rest of the day off. Yeah. She's like, why don't you, uh, why don't you head to the bathroom? I actually tried to play Pokemon Go. I did for a while. What happened though? And I just feel like Pokemon was never meant to be 
with me. I had an old phone at the time mm. where the tracking was broken. And you oh. can't play Pokemon if you don't have tracking on yeah. your phone. So I couldn't play. I never okay. knew where I was. When I lived in Atlanta, I was basically in the heart of Atlanta when that started. Yeah. I was in New York City. Poke baby. stops everywhere. It was lit. We had them too. And I would see people playing, but I never could play. I I think I still see people play when we go to the park oh, yeah. sometimes. Um, I'm, I'm pretty like, sure CJ still plays. CJ and his friends. My friend oh, CJ. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, do we have a CJ here? My, my CJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> sometimes like we'll go to the park for a walk. Not when it's 120 degrees out. But when we do, like sometimes I'll see groups of people with phones. And I'm like, it can't be Pokemon. But then they'll be like, oh, my gosh, it's Rotini or something like that. And I'm like, like, it is Pokemon. Is it? Remember how it cured everyone's depression for like 20 minutes? <laughs> That was good. Probably times. for like a month. Everyone actually. came outside. Everyone was getting their vitamin D. It yeah. was great. There was there was a guy. I I worked in like a group of office buildings. Yeah. And everyone at their lunch hours would like go outside and go to the pokey stops because there were multiple. This one guy from another office, not even my company, different office, different job. He like had laser eyes that he was just watching out the window because every time I went outside, he would go out too and be like, "Oh, what are you doing?" And I'd be like, "Oh, just playing Pokemon." And then he started playing Pokemon, and then he joined the same team as me so that we could be gym leaders together yeah i was very straightforward about not being interested but then he was like oh i'm just trying to play pokemon with you and then i was like i don't really want to play this anymore <laughs> that guy ruined it i hope you listen i hope yeah. you know what you i don't did. even remember his name i don't think i ever even got much of his name because like i never i never gave him my number i never gave him any indication that i was interested he would just follow he me was around literally watching you out the window yes literally <laughs> so i had a question about this movie i wonder answer. how many of the original and i wrote i actually don't think i'm wrong about this i wrote the original 151 Pokemon, but it's 150. But 151, no, 151. with Mewtwo. Yeah, Mewtwo. That was so right. actually, I believe that Mewtwo is 150 and Mew is 151, 151. for okay. whatever reason. Yeah. So I was wondering how many of the originals were in the movie. I don't think it was all of them. That well, I didn't cool. count. But I there, was trying. there was a lot. There was a lot. We saw a lot of strong Pokemon yeah. in this movie, which I was really excited about. So let's actually let's talk about that because Mewtwo decides to have what sounds like it's going to be a tournament where he gets all the strongest trainers. And then he creates a storm so that only the strongest trainers can get to his yeah, island. Yeah, some, for some reason, Ash was invited with his Bulbasaur and his It Squirtle. seems like they invited everybody they could. Yeah. And then, but you know who they didn't invite? Team Rocket. Yeah. Meow. But they got there That's anyway. Right. They did. They're pretty strong. Yeah. So <laughs> we we watched one movie together from this podcast, The Princess mm -hmm. Bride. We did. We've watched other movies together, but that one was an interesting experience because we didn't want to talk during the movie because we wanted to save our thoughts. But do you remember one thing about me from that movie? You gasped the I whole gasped time. the whole time. The entire time. I think I'm dumb, honestly, because... <laughs> I hate to be the one to write. No, I'm just So kidding. in this movie, it was two instances, like around this time. Where you were shocked? Or shocked about something. I know what it was. Nurse Joy. It was Nurse Joy. Well, it wasn't that. It was when we saw Nurse Joy. I was like, that's Nurse Joy. I know it. And then immediately he was like, oh, it's Nurse Joy. And I was like, oh, that wasn't really a big reveal. Like, yeah. I, I figured it out. And then he said it anyway. So I got, I was excited. But oh, I uh, thought it was going to be like a later reveal that they were going to tell us it was Nurse Joy. Yeah. But I got excited. Very good. I figured it out. But it wasn't really that big. And then one thing I didn't figure out, I was like, damn, those Vikings have a crazy accent. Leah, no way. I realized at some point, like, it wasn't that long there that I realized something it was about the Vikings rocket. that I want to talk about. <laughs> OK. But before we do, when they were like the road is closed the the ferry is closed can't get over here this is something i want to say because i've always said in the podcast no adventures for me kill me off i don't care if pokemon were real that would be your adventure i would be in the sky with my firo just vibing you, you would know? be gotta catch them all i don't know that i would need to catch them all but i would need to go on every possible adventure yeah i would probably be the type of pokemon trainer that like has them in case people want to battle but my goal i would probably want to be like a photographer oh yeah or something just pokemon like snap was such a fun game never played it that <gasps> it was the was so only pokemon fun. game i never did i had stadium snap i had all the n64 ones just not i didn't the have an handheld yeah. i only had to handle yeah i wasn't allowed so, to have one that was the stuff that i didn't do but yeah i, I feel like i would want to go on on adventures if it was Pokemon related. Yeah. That is the only adventure I so care about. brave that storm? I would have gone out in that storm. Absolutely. The guy who was like, my whole team is water types, which by the way was a lie because he did have a Nidorina. <laughs> normal type? Nope. Ground poison. They used to be normal. Nope. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I trust you, actually. <laughs> Pretty sure. Now you're making me second guess myself. But he was like, yeah, my whole team's water. I don't care. I'm going to go out in this storm. That would have been me. Yeah. I feel like if I was like a single type person, it would be either water or dark type. I'd probably be fire. Absolutely. Absolutely. I don't know why you even are saying it like probably, you know, you would. <laughs> 
ponytail, baby. My yeah. favorite Pokemon. You would just have a lead of horses. Have, I was excited we did see a Rapidash. Yeah. And I knew it was a Rapidash and not a ponytail. Yeah. Very proud of you. Yeah. Thank you. So there is also a woman, and I didn't remember this, but there's some woman with a crazy, crazy accent. accent. So first of all, I did write, Ash isn't even strong enough to cross the water because Misty immediately is like, none of our Pokemon can carry us. Yeah. Because like the only one that probably could have would be Charizard, but Charizard doesn't listen and Charizard can't be in the water. Well, yeah. He could have flown overhead, I guess. But, but he still would have been in also, the Also, I said... Where's Misty Starmie? I was thinking that too because I was like, Misty is the, the gym leader. Gym leader of the water temple. Nope. <laughs> gym. <laughs> okay. I practiced not saying temple before this episode and I messed up. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I want you to remember that. And I know that Brock is the rock gym. So. Mm-hmm. Okay. So they're not even strong enough, but they have these Vikings. Gasp. It's Team Rocket. Yeah, that took me a second. Even I didn't... though Meowth was literally the When little... I saw Meowth, that's when I noticed. Okay. So there was one thing that I had to pause to laugh. I don't know if you know this about me, but sometimes like, my eyes are small. When I laugh. You do say that. Yeah, that your eyes close. My eyes you... close when I'm laughing yeah. really hard. So sometimes I have to pause content. So you can see. So I can laugh and then go back to seeing. So I had to pause this because one of them, I think it was Brock, is like, I didn't know they still had vikings <laughs> i think they live in minnesota that's amazing oh my gosh that's definitely i wrote that down that was like really a funny. u.s specific joke that was so funny to me because i i've mentioned this before it might have gotten cut out of a podcast but when i was watching these so yeah. 1998 when this came out i was mm-hmm. six i thought tokyo was a made-up place i was six years old okay don't judge me i didn't know geography are you kidding but you knew who the minnesota vikings were i didn't oh no i didn't oh i that joke went over my head <laughs> <laughs> you were cracking up about it and you were just like just because it was minnesota. minnesota i just thought that was funny was i was like vikings football in team. Minnesota. you think i knew the minnesota's Leah, football team i didn't had, even know the golden knights and that's our city we had a friend in college who was obsessed with the minnesota vikings yeah okay well, i thought that was funny even without the context okay <laughs> It was a it was a football joke. I hate that I'm the one that knows that because I'm very not sporty. That's really funny. No, but I, I yeah, I thought Tokyo was a made up place when I was five or six years old. But you knew where Minnesota was, at least. I have cousins in Minnesota. So, yeah. And you, they never told you about the Vikings? They might have. It's purple. It's very cute. Now I know. I also did want to write down when we got introduced to everybody and their teams. I wrote, yo, these teams are stacked. Very good teams. Stacked. Meanwhile, Ash is like, I've got a Charmander. <laughs> my note <laughs> well, literally, he, wait. He doesn't even have a Charmander. I don't know why I said that. My note in my phone literally says, and this was when they were pulling up and Nurse Joy came out. I was like, mm-hmm. okay, that lady has got to be Nurse Joy. I'm so embarrassing. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. There was actually one point where Brock was like, she looks familiar to the missing Nurse Joy poster. And I was like, haha, it's a reference to the fact that, that he he's... knows. I thought it was a reference that Nurse Joy is in every city. That's yep. what I, yeah, yep. that's what I thought All too. sisters. Yeah, but then it was because he saw the pretty lady. I also want to talk about when Mewtwo comes out. He's gay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try that again. <laughs> I know that's, that's what I said you... Mewtwo makes himself known. That's what I wrote. <laughs> Mewtwo makes an appearance. Mewtwo strikes back. <laughs> Mewtwo comes out of the closet. He says, like most trainers, I started with Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle. Lies. Most trainers do not start with that in this world. Only Ash. <laughs> Only Ash. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a rare type. Everyone would have them. I mean, I guess some people in this world, they were pretty strong and they had them. I mean, the one guy had a Vaporeon. That's a strong guy. That is a strong guy, yeah. yeah. There were stacked teams. I mean, this is a, a potentially controversial opinion in the Pokemon world. Personally, I think Tentacruel is very strong. Okay. I know which one Tentacruel is. It's the that jellyfish. One, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> very good of us to both do that. <laughs> that was good. Yeah, there were a lot of strong Pokemon on those teams that we saw. And somehow Ash, Brock, and Misty. Gyarados too. That, that's Brock a... has like one Pokemon that he brought out. Yeah, he has the Vulpix, Vulpix. But he also has Onix and Geodude. Right, right, right. Which, yeah. They... Onix is strong. He should have brought Onix out. He really should have, shouldn't he? Yeah. There were some other ones that I was like, ooh, nice little reference. They were all Gen 1 though. Yeah. And then the trainers start calling out for their Pokemon to start battling. Nicknames, adorable. Yeah. Shell Shocker. I did love cute. that because I know that. And the other one, was it Fru Fru? Is that the name? It might have been. Yeah, I think that sounds right. Very cute. Because I know like in the game you can give nicknames, but I knew that like Ash doesn't do that. So like I didn't know that that was something in the show that other trainers do. So I thought that yeah. was very cute. I love it. Growing up, I never did it because Ash never did it. But I understand now uh, yeah, that I... it was because then kids would think like this creature is called Jiggly Jiggly or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. So 
like it makes sense. But now as an adult, I nickname all of the ones on my team and I try to give them good good nicknames Nicknames, yeah yeah. i just nicknamed them because it was streaming and people helped me pick them so it's cute yeah you named one after me it might have been sandro actually you weren't on my team though because you were my rival yes that's true but in later games you also you named a slack off ryan yes i did do that because he is a sloth sloth. yeah Mm -hmm. yeah yeah. we also haven't talked much about that mew's kind of been popping in popping in and out i as soon as i saw mew come on screen i was like leah's obsessed with this little i'm i loved mew oh my god i was so obsessed with mew and him just meowing him on that like windmill thing yeah i knew you were freaking out over that i love that and i loved when so like jesse and james and meowth are sneaking in and mew is behind and he keeps like meowth is like looking that way and he goes to the other side and he looks the other way then he goes the other way we haven't talked much about team rocket i'm shocked i thought that you were blasting off again I thought that you would. Are they siblings or dating or friends? They're together. Okay, cool. It's not explicitly mentioned, but canonically in the future they do get married. Oh, so that probably. But means they're, they're also. Not siblings. I'm, I, they're. <laughs> they're not. <laughs> well, well, <in> Star Wars. <laughs> I would also consider them to be, in a sense, queer icons, even though they are in a. Oh, they are queer icons. So I'm surprised that you didn't bring that up, especially because when they do disguises, usually Jesse is, is presented as male, male and, and James, James is presented. Yeah, I mean, even the there was Jesse an and James. I feel like are very. I mean, I, I think that gendered names make no sense. Like names are names, whatever. Yeah, but like I feel Jesse, like Jesse and James, James are very yeah. gender neutral. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's actually an episode of Pokemon that was banned in the U.S. because James has fake boobs and makes fun of Misty for being flat chested. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're not afraid of making James effeminate for the show. Yeah. So definitely some queer icons. Yeah, they, they do get married. They, they're they're maybe a man and a woman in a relationship, but it doesn't mean it's a heterosexual relationship. I Absolutely. They're just heterosexually married. Yeah. <laughs> but they're, they're not heterosexual. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Something I did. Someone's going to dislike that. Honestly, if you do, stop watching. No, that's... <laughs> we'll help you change your mind. We'll help you change your mind. Something I did love, though, when they did go inside and they were where the cloning was happening, mm-hmm. there was a little callback to the, who's that Pokemon? I yeah. thought it was very cute. And you were of, screaming because you were like, I know that. I know that, that one. That one's meow. <laughs> I know it. Also, do you know why Meowth talks? Yeah. Tell me. I don't actually. I'm going to share a little, little I would like to know. fun fact with you. So Meowth fell in love with a girl. Meowth. I don't know if she was Meowth. I don't remember. Fell in love with her. Wanted to impress her. Learned English. He's a smart boy. Or maybe Japanese. But in my version, it was English. He learned how to Probably talk. Probably Japanese. Which is really. Well, he also has a funky accent. Is it? Would you? Would we call that a New York accent? I was like, yeah, he's a Jersey king. I was going <laughs> to say Meowth is from New Jersey. Yeah. He might be in he the He lived mob. right down the street from me, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. We went yeah. to school together. Honestly, so me growing up in New Jersey, I don't know about you. I always thought everything was set in New Jersey. Always. Yeah, I mean, I thought Tokyo was a made-up place, so okay. you made fun of me for that. You but thought everything was. Out, I do think a lot of stuff was actually like. Oh yeah, Bob's Burgers is set in New Jersey. Yeah, I mean, like there's certain states where I'm like Rocket you probably Power. Don't get a lot of- they say is California, but I do think that it's very New Jersey coded. Really, I feel like that's very California. No, no, no. There are some things like Shubies. Do oh. they have a word for that in California? Because well, we, we have really, Benny's. Yeah, Benny's is the word that we would call in. Yeah, New but Jersey. I mean, that's like I thought that's what that was a reference was. to. Yeah, mm, I guess it's similar. And we also they had. People. Mischief Night, which is really only a New Jersey, New Jersey thing. thing. Yeah. Also in so California, why? a lot of people don't go in the water there because it's so cold. But I guess oh, surfers I would because you you yeah. have to like wear a, it never gets warm like in New Jersey, so you yeah. have to like wear a wetsuit every. I don't know. It just felt very round. New Jersey coded yeah. to me. Obviously, there was like show. that was a good show. Oh my god, I yeah. had such a crush on Auto Rocket. So yeah, I did want to write down. Well, I did write down. I don't know why I said I wanted to because I I did I achieved that goal of mine. I wrote down that Charizard. The fact that he doesn't listen means that Pikachu you canonically shouldn't be that strong unless in the show it's different that once your Pokemon doesn't listen to you once you just can never fully train him yeah I feel like that has to be just like something of the game because like mm-hmm. you have to get to a certain point in the game to yeah because I'm like Pokemon. Pikachu is definitely level 100 no doubt about it in my mind he is way too powerful I'm nodding like I understand no so in the game level 100 is the highest you can be oh, okay so that's like whenever I I'm saying like oh this Pokemon's level 100 that means they are at their the strongest, the strongest yeah. possible. So like Mewtwo. So in the game, Mewtwo is level 70. Ah. Which is But his level 70 might be stronger than Pikachu's level 100. Well, yeah, because his stats are stat. I mean, he's OP'd. So a, so a level much. 70 Mewtwo would still beat a level 100 Pikachu based on just Based stats. on the movie we just watched. 
Well, yeah, <laughs> that, that too. But yeah, just like stats, because like Pokemon, they have like, you know, like attack, defense, special attack, special defense, that stuff. Yeah. It all adds up to like a full number. Mm-hmm. Pikachu's number is way lower yeah. than Mewtwo. Mewtwo is legendary. Oh, legendary yeah. Pokemon are stacked yeah no he's he's a strong boy i mean we saw in the fighting montage and everything and we also saw that that pikachu was not getting captured by those pokeballs well first of all let's say the fact that mewtwo was like i'm gonna kill all of you and your pokemon because they're slaves so it's like i agreed with him i was like yeah they are slaves but i feel like his tactics kind of made no sense so like i get what you're saying and that you think it might be like a stockholm syndrome situation no i okay pokemon like to fight they love but it's it. also it's the like best. they're companions they're best friends they're think besties. of it i would think of it not as like dog fighting i would think of it as like no, i don't think of it as dog fighting. <laughs> i would think of it as like karate okay so like you got a friend who's really into karate and you maybe you tell them what moves to do for karate or okay, something okay but like they like it that's okay. like their thing and i can see why mewtwo would think that they're slaves because his the way he was brought into the world was mm-hmm. a little not great yeah so that was his origin story made it make sense that he was like i hate humans and is mew stronger than mewtwo or are they like evenly matched that i actually don't know so one thing about me about pokemon i like to say i know all the stats i don't pay attention to legendaries at all because they're too strong anyway they're too strong this is a controversial take but a lot of people agree with me but the the controversial opinion is whether or not you should use legendaries when you're playing. Um, I am personally of the belief that you should not. They're too overpowered. Yeah, that's true. Remember how I destroyed, I did like the Nuzlocke for Yes. It, and I had a legendary, I think I had a Dragonite on my team. That is not a legendary, but it's a pseudo legendary, so I'll give it to you. Okay. but <laughs> So not a legendary. Yeah, but but I, you like, did have a legendary, but I, I don't remember what it was. It was a Gyarados? Is not legendary. No, but, but there was a, a Dragonite and a Gyarados in this movie. Do, we didn't talk about the fact that Dragonite got hit with a frying pan oh, by Jesse. Oh, yeah. And she was like, wait, where were they invited? <laughs> I want to go too. That was amazing. <laughs> I, I like the Dragonite. Dragonite looks like a doofus. Oh, he's so cute though. He's a big, he's a big boy. But he's a big doofus. He's a big doofus. Yeah. yeah. I also wrote Ash kind of sucks. Ash is the worst. Ash is bad. I actually always hated Ash growing up because I was like, I would beat him. I'm. He's I'm not shocked strong. that yeah. he gets as far as he no, does. No, he's not strong at all. At some Delusion. point, fairly recently, he did win some sort of tournament that he like is now the strongest trainer. But like, come on. Okay. He what do you say? His Pikachu and his Squirtle. Yeah, literally. Uh, like, like he doesn't on. even. They're all like level ones. Is that what you call them? No, they're not evolved. Oh, not evolved. Okay. So in Digimon, it would be rookie champion ultimate. Okay. And they normally will live in their rookie form. This is a rookie form, but this isn't to size. She's yeah. probably like a little bigger than him. That's a rookie? No, he's a champion actually. So he's actually, he's but one. he looks so. Well, so here's the thing about him. He is one of the weakest Teach champions, me. but he's oh. the strongest ultimate. Oh, so he makes up for it. And fun. she has the cutest ultimate. Okay. She's a little fairy. Wow. We love that. I think yeah. so she was a cactus. No, the cactus is her champion. Oh, okay, okay. That's Togemon. So wait, ultimate is better than champion? Ultimate's better, yeah. Okay. Ultimate? Well, that's like, yeah. what? That's like, better? Champion is the best. No, ultimate. The song goes, Digivolve into champions. Digivolve into ultimates. Digimon digital monsters. <laughs> that's it. I got it. Copyright strike. So anyway, back to Pokemon, not Digimon. <laughs> Even though I appreciated learning, that was very nice. Yes. I won't make you watch the Digimon movie. It didn't hold up. Okay. It's not good. I love that you've watched it since childhood. Oh, I yeah. <laughs> I would watch this movie again. I cried the I whole time. I can't tell you yet. I'll have to save that for the end if I'd watch it again. I will. I'll talk about how I cried during this next part, which was when the clones were fighting the originals. Right. Yeah. So and the song. They had like the three original clones that came out, but then they cloned mm-hmm. all the Pokemon that were there and they were all fighting yeah. each other. And the brother, yeah, the, the brother. song was good because I felt like it almost was an out of place song because they were like battling. So you think there'd be like battle music but it was supposed to be upsetting like no yeah. this isn't what pokemon this isn't the fighting that pokemon like to do yeah they like and they fight. actually they like said battle yeah this is not what pokemon are for they don't want to hurt each they other they don't want to hurt each other yeah, yeah it's literally just like supposed to be like a fun battling thing mm-hmm. so like that answers your problem that you had with this world and <laughs> i'm still offended that you think that but yeah Pikachu not fighting back and the clone Pikachu was just like smacking him around but mm-hmm. he was upset about it. I know they were both upset watch. and I was just sobbing. I was like and I don't know if you know this but when I play Pokemon I have a really hard time using like if I have like a Sandshrew and a Sandshrew comes out I'll switch. Yeah because you don't. 
because i i'm like brother <laughs> my brother <laughs> yeah no that that scene was sad and even meow that when, when they stopped fighting he was talking to his meowth and he was like i'm really partial to you and mm-hmm. i wrote a quote actually he said he says he said something like how can i not trust you just because you were born different or something like that there's okay i've got two and quotes he said i almost you. made a quaffle mistake <laughs> which is stupid there's two things that i would say are the most powerful things that we could ever take from this film one is what Mew two says which i wrote down i might cry should i do a dramatic reading (laughs) we do have a lot in common the same earth the same air the same sky maybe if we started looking at what's the same instead of what's different well who knows oh that's a good one that's a good one and then there's actually one that mewtwo says but i i don't know if i should say it yet i'm tearing up uh, again Wait, is it the circumstances of one's birth are irrelevant it's what mm-hmm. you do that determines who you are yeah with the gift of life this movie had a lot of deep themes but i think what's really on un- yeah kelly's like crying this whole episode <laughs> jesus you're just tearing up. <laughs> but what's interesting about it, though, is I feel like a lot of those messages, because, I mean, I think the undertone of it, it, like, is sort of like racism is bad. Well, yeah, it's very simple. But it's also, keep in mind, when we saw this movie, you said you were six. Six, yeah. I was seven. Yeah. So, like, we don't need nuance. We're not understand. But the thing with it, where there's missed opportunities, is that's the messaging. And as adults, like, we get that. We get, like, mm-hmm. just because people are different doesn't mean you treat them differently. Like, celebrate people's differences. Don't mm-hmm. make fun of them or whatever. But I feel like it's on the parents who go with the kids to be like, okay, like, that was a really fun movie. Absolutely. And explain it to them. And I just feel like that's where it kind of gets lost is, like, a lot of parents probably that's aren't That's not doing Pokemon's it. fault. That's not Pokemon. No, it's not Pokemon's <laughs> fault. No, 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 no. Pokemon is perfect. Yeah, no, it's it's not Pokemon's fault. Yeah. But I, I think I, that's like, it, it, that's similar with a lot of family movies or kids mm-hmm. movies is there there are these messages that get lost in translation where yeah. you're trying to teach the kids something, but the parents have to be the ones that sort of like explain it a yeah. little bit more. Well, I don't really ingest too much children's content anymore. No. When we were younger, the sitcoms that we had, they had episodes that were lessons. Mm-hmm. Like they, it was like- Like Rugrats, I think, had a lot. Rugrats had a lot. I was thinking like Fresh Prince. Oh, obviously, that, too, that Fresh was like Prince. an older yeah. show, but there was a lot of things like that. Even like Full House. Yeah. I remember there was like some, just like sitcom kind of shows same with even like the other nickelodeon animated shows like a lot of stuff well rocket power maybe not so like that's so raven do you remember that episode about like body types and stuff oh i was gonna say the the racism racism yeah when she was like i don't hire black people yeah that that, there was that episode that's how i learned about racism yeah literally (laughs) and i feel like that's how i learned about body positivity too i mean raven simone was such an icon disney (laughs) channel was very good about having like every show I feel like had an episode where they address body image issues. Yeah. Nickelodeon didn't, but I feel like Disney was pretty good. Disney Channel was good with that. Disney was good about, I mean, obviously it wasn't perfect, but no better than Nickelodeon was about having more diversity in terms of body types. And And also, yeah, just like teaching, teaching you good lessons like that. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like this movie had a really strong message, really strong. Yeah, that totally absolutely. went over me as a six-year-old. I was like, oh my God, they're fighting. I think it was something that stuck with me as being like powerful, mm-hmm. like something like to think about. Like, oh, I guess we all are kind of the same. So obviously like this isn't perfect thinking, but I grew up always saying like, if aliens came to Earth, right? And they were like- They're probably already here, by the way. <laughs> yeah, well, nothing surprises <laughs> us anymore. <laughs> Nothing's interesting anymore. But yeah, the way I always thought of it was like, so if you were teaching somebody something about the world and you're like, this is a dog, you're not like this. This is a German Shepherd. This is a Husky. This is a Chihuahua. You know, like you're like, this is dog. Yeah. This is true. And there's all different kinds of dogs. Yeah. yeah. So like I, the way I, I was taught it growing up was basically like aliens come to Earth and they're like, what are these things? And I'm like, we're humans. Yeah. And they're the, not going to see our differences. They're exactly. They're just going to see us Like, as they're like, like, that's just a different type of dog. Yeah. In my head, different type of dog. But to us, it's just different different, different type, type of, of human. human. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. we're all the same thing. No, so I, I agree with that. I think that was kind of, maybe not necessarily a lesson I took from that, but I do remember thinking, like, Mewtwo knows, he knows what he's talking about. Mewtwo did know what he was talking about. He was a smart guy. He was a smart day. Pokemon. Was yeah. a, they were they a smart. Were a smart. <laughs> they were smart. Yeah, we've been misgendering Mewtwo this whole time. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know something yeah. about this movie I didn't remember? What? That they forget everything. I didn't remember that either. Does Mewtwo ever like come back? 
Not that I remember. He just like goes off. I don't know that I've clones. seen the other movies. Yeah, I've only seen the first one. But I have watched a lot of the shows. Yeah, and he never came back. And Mew either. I don't think so. But they also had a little glimpse of Mew at the end that Ash was like, I think I just saw. Did you know what he was referencing there? I was going to ask you, but I think I remember. I think it was a Zapdos. Nope. But it's actually interesting because the Pokemon at the time did not exist. It was Ho-Oh. It was Ho-Oh. Okay, okay. And Ho-Oh was in this movie. I'm no, telling you. No, he was not. I wrote Ho-Oh in my notes. Where if was you I? Were, if you come up with a Fero and say that you... <gasps> I know. Yeah, it was a Fero. You're right. First of all, Ho-Oh is like Rainbow. So I'm. that's another thing. I'm not picturing Ho-Oh in my head. I'm going to show you what Ho-Oh Oh, I was like. close though. It was a bird. Yeah. Well, I guess he's not Rainbow, oh, but he Ho-Oh. has... Okay. He has rainbows like coming out of it. That's not what I pictured. That's I thought whole the thing. Firo was. Ho-oh. Yeah, Firo is a cool Pokemon. Firo is an underrated Pokemon. I hate birds. I'm gonna have a whole bird team. <laughs> I would be traumatized. I can't believe you thought Flygon was a bird. It's a sand dragon. <laughs> Ground. Flygon. Yeah. Fly. Yeah. So he's like a like, he's like a dragonfly. Oh, I was thinking like he can fly like a bird. Nope. He's like a <laughs> dragonfly kind of. Well, anyway, I was really excited. I thought it was a Zapdos that he saw. But now that you're saying that it was a Ho, I did know that. But I also knew that that was the second generation. And that was in the first episode, episode of Pokemon. Yeah. And we didn't see Oak and we didn't see Ash's mom, who Oak is most definitely Boinkin. Oh, they're Boinkin back in they Palatown. Boink. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, you're 10? Get Time out. to go. Get out. You're <laughs> Get old out enough. Of here. Take this rat. Go on an adventure. And it's so crazy too. Ten years old. I, I would do it. A ten. That was my missed life opportunity. You know, we recently watched The Matrix. Mm-hmm. I remember. That's the dimension I belong in. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be in that simulation. I want to be in that simulation. Oh, it just seems so fun. Yeah. I would just like, I don't know. I, I Obviously, I know animals are real. <laughs> what? I know, I know. No, okay. But like having one that's like, they fully understand humans. Yeah. Like they. Well, you know, Digimon can actually like communicate back with you though. Too much. But that's they, At that point, it's just but, basically human. But, 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 but. It's no. a digital monster. Oh, should I pull up my questions? Yeah. I forgot about that. Because I had to answer because you said you'd watch the movie again, but I was holding my cards to my chest on that one. Mm, you sure were. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you sure were. Are you looking yeah. at my chest? <laughs> Play it back. Questions. Okay. Favorite slash most interesting character? Obviously Mewtwo. Uh, yeah, I mean Mewtwo is the best character. Least favorite slash least interesting character? Lady with the accent. <laughs> Lady with the accent sucked. She sucked and all the birds. All the bird types. I loved I actually bird type. I, That's not a type. Flying type. Yes. Yeah. There was a Flygon. Okay, there, come on. There was, was a bird something. that I thought was a Pidgeot. But it is actually a Pidgeotto, and I was upset. That bird is huge. That bird was a lot bigger than I thought. I was thinking that too. Huge. I meant to write that note, and I didn't. But yeah, I didn't like Funny it. Funny enough, I was talking to Ryan last night. I was gonna call him Ash. That was weird. <laughs> I was talking to Ash last night. I actually have an Ash in my yeah, life. Yeah, you do. So that's not even. I was thinking of Ash Ketchum. No, I was talking to Ryan last night, and he was remarking how it's like it, it seems so off the sizes of things in the show. Yeah. But I was like, keep in mind, Ash is a young. He hasn't hit puberty yet. Yeah. You know how like little boys yeah. are short yeah he's probably like as short. tall as ryan yeah. like <laughs> i forgot ryan wasn't here today but i'm not good at knowing children's sizes obviously or ages. yeah me neither <laughs> but i well, i have a could be two he could be 12 i have a, a nephew who is in somewhat of the age range and like side he's, tiny. he's small yeah yeah so like it makes sense that ash is small compared, compared to, to like the, the adults yeah compared to the pokemon mm-hmm. i know charizard I believe it's supposed to be five seven, Ooh. which is my height. Oh my God, yeah. your Charizard size. Yeah, oh. which actually brings me to the next question, which is who is Leah and who is Kelly? Mm-hmm. I don't think I'm Charizard though. Oh really? I feel like you would be Charizard. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I was thinking Brock because he was a big old flirt. Mm. It doesn't mean. come into play too much in this movie, but no. it does in real. I mean, life. I feel like Brock is was barely in the movie. Brock and Misty barely, were barely in the movie. Thank goodness, because I'm not a Misty fan. <laughs> She's kind of annoying. She's just like has a crush on Ash and she like pretends that it's because she wants her bike back. Yeah. Or like him to replace her bike. Who would you it. be though? You're definitely a Pokemon, I think. I don't Absolutely. think you're a person. You're a Pokemon. Yeah. I don't know which one I would be though. I was trying to think about what Pokemon I would be. Was there a Sand Slash in no. the movie? Because I would have been, I think I would have been a Sand Slash because there's like nails and like just vibes. Yeah. You know? Nails and vibes. That's you. So <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'd be the Pidgeotto. You want to be a bird? I'd like to fly. Yeah. Okay. I think flying is the most useful HM. No, I do agree that flying is useful. Oh, but I, I just don't like I'm going to agree birds. that it's the most useful because those 
going to say, I feel like you would think surf is the most useful. Oh, I loved surf. Yeah. My Gyarados had surf. Good boy. I wouldn't be a Gyarados. I know that. No. I could see myself being a water type. As much as I like fire, I do like the ocean. Yeah. I wish there was a mermaid Pokemon. Vaporeon. <laughs> Vaporeon is the mermaid yeah, Pokemon. Yeah, that's true. Vaporeon is pretty. I'm sorry, Kelly's going to get triggered by the Smasher Pass. Why would you bring it up again? <laughs> no, I, I don't know. I don't know who I would be, but I feel like I'm definitely just one of the Pokemon. I'm probably one of the water type Pokemon. Yeah. Just like chilling. Yeah. But- you know, the one Pokemon, mm-hmm. the big seal looking guy. Dugong. I swore his name was Seal. That's there is his, a seal. Yeah. Before his he little evolves, seal. he's okay. Seal. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was like shocked that he's so big. He's huge. Maybe I would be a Dugong, actually. <laughs> I think I'd be the Dugong. The Dugong was cool, but I remember because I thought his name was Seal, but he was not saying Seal. So I was like, what is he? This is, is a like, form. Yeah. Gong. Seal is just like him, but a little doofier. Yeah. He's like, ooh, you know who you are? Who? Leah. Who am I? Who am I? <laughs> Doofy water type. <laughs> Psyduck? I don't know why you're so intent on offending me today. I'll be a Golduck. I just want to make you really mad. Maybe I'm the Vulpix. And there was a Golduck in the movie, too. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I'm I'm either Vulpix, uh, Golduck, There was no Vulpix, Dugan. was there? Yeah. Bronx oh, Vulpix. duh. I keep thinking that's Ninetales, but Ninetales is the big one. There was a Ninetales in it as well, too, yeah. but I don't think I'm that strong. No. Not yet. I haven't reached my final, final form. form yet. <laughs> Not a Charizard yet. Okay. What does the film make you feel? So- in the first minute of the film, For I unfortunately did not get <laughs> the, the 21st crazy, minute. crazy, <laughs> triggering beginning. Me just sobbing. But at first, because of like how low qual it was and like the colors were kind of desaturated, in like the first minute, I was like, oh, did, did we make a mistake picking this movie? But it was like literally a minute. And then as soon as Mewtwo talked, I was like, I'm in. I'm it's in. It's really, it's interesting to see how different Pokemon design has shifted. Yeah. It's always so funny to me hearing people, this is another just Pokemon aside, but people are Pokemon always like, aside, no. no, this is like a little aside about Pokemon, but not about the movie. Yeah. But just about like Gen 1ers. Yeah. What I've explained in the beginning. The thing that annoys me is a lot of people are like, Pokemon is so uninspired now. It's literally just a trash Pokemon. It's literally just a set of keys, which I agree. That's stupid. It's literally just a teapot. But like, Love you- Disc, your favorite Pokemon hate that thing but the thing that annoys me is like you look at gen one that's okay there's a rock his name is geo dude that's a bird named pidgey oh there's another bird spiro and it's just like oh there's a seal his name is seal his name is seal yeah so it's it was... like and crabby the crab. the crab it's like people like if if those came out now people yeah. would complain about it and be like gen caterpie one so much better yeah hornet i think in the beginning, Pokemon was meant to like emulate real life a little bit more, yeah. which I loved. But it's so interesting. Like if you see like Gen 8 Pokemon now, you're like, that looks so different. Like a Pidgey and a Gen 8 Pokemon just don't belong in the same in room the same together. Universe, yeah. yeah, Even Digimon sort of changed as well. So like, I yeah. mean, there was Gatomon, which was a cat and Gato means cat in Spanish. Thank you for the lesson. And that yeah. was Gen 1, if we're calling it that. And like, yeah. but like Patamon, what is Patamon? What is he? That like, honestly looks like a hamster. A flying hamster. He flies. He flies with yeah. his ears. He flies with his ears. And he goes, boom, bubble. I hate that. And, he, and then he has a bubble that comes out. I've never hated anything more. <gasps> You would, he is so cute. I can't, don't, I would not don't get listen. Into. I'm covering your ears. I don't know why I've always said, like, I don't watch any anime because I do. I have got a lot of anime under my belt, yeah. but I'm very picky about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I've been trying so, to get you to watch Attack on Titan for a long time. I watched the first six episodes with you. Is I that know. not enough? I don't think we watched all to six. I think we only watched like two or three. And no, that's not enough. I watched you have to, to watch the whole thing. I said you have to watch till eight. You didn't get to eight. And eight's the big episode. Six. Eight's the one that like hooks people. Okay, well, I'll try again, but I don't have Hulu anymore. <laughs> I'll figure it out. But I had one more thing what I wanted it, to say. What it makes you oh, no, feel. To, I wanted to finish about Digimon. So th- he was like a Gen 1, but like in the, the second generation of Digimon, mm-hmm. the main guy's Digimon was called Hawkmon and he looked like a hawk. Yeah. Oh, wait, just... Actually, that wasn't the main guy. The main guy's, his was Vmon and he had a V on his forehead. Whoa, that's... <laughs> It's like a really little creative. secret reference. Yeah. yeah. Fun. But this is Palmon because we're pals. Wow, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the movie made me feel nostalgia. The movie made me feel that racism is bad. And that too. But I already <laughs> felt that before I started watching the movie. I watched that Raven Simone episode. <laughs> Same. That's when I first learned it. Yeah. Reinforced by Reinforced. You too. No, but I do love that. Just I love giving like palatable lessons to children. But yeah, the parents. It's so fun. Parents, talk to your kids after you watch movies with them. Yeah. 
I think it's always fun to like digest a movie and like discuss Try it. To explain after. it yeah. yeah. Next question. Did the movie leave you with any unanswered questions? Yeah, my question was who's the legendary Pokemon that Ash saw, but you uh yeah, you told me. Which I also I knew again you'd know. strikes me as a Pokemon you would have loved. One Rainbows, two is named Ho Oh. You would love that. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah, but he's a bird. He's a magical bird. He's a bird. Oh, he's so magical. Ugh. I don't have any unanswered questions. I know everything. Yeah. Would you watch it again? I actually would watch it again. So I was holding that close to my chest, but I would. And I feel like if I had children in my life, I would want them to watch it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Because they absolutely. wouldn't know how low quality it is. They wouldn't. It's not low quality. I don't know why you keep saying that. I felt like the colors were real dull. What were you watching this on? I watched a very <laughs> high quality version. Mine was high. You quality. definitely watched a remaster. Mine was beautiful. Yeah, you watched a remaster. No, I, I didn't. didn't. It was just like how I remember it. I'm showing you after what I watched, and we're we're getting to the bottom of this. I think that that scene was absolutely taken out of the original release in America. Next question. Oh, I would watch it again. Obviously, I'll watch it again with Ryan. <laughs> I'm ready to cry again. Yeah. Last question: Is it geeky? Yeah, I think Pokemon's pretty geeky. I think Pokemon is geeky. I don't think the movie was geeky. I think it's a movie that anybody could benefit from. Yeah, and I, I agree feel with like that. I really wanted to flex more of my Pokemon knowledge, and I I feel that it wasn't really flexed really? in this movie. I feel like it, oh, in the movie, I, in the oh, episode, no, I'm I feel trying like... to shoehorn in as much no, Pokemon trivia did. as you I can. did. <laughs> you. You're succeeding. I could have a podcast about Pokemon. I could have a podcast specifically just about Gen 1 or Gen 3. Or, or yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah. Gen 2. But. No, I, I do agree. It's kind of like this. I mean, this movie was in theaters and stuff like that. Like anybody could go watch it. And we all live in a Pokemon In a yellow world. submarine. No. Oh. Pokemon. <laughs> do not live in a yellow submarine, Leah. Oh, sorry. It's this is why we've been Beatles. <laughs> the thing, though, with the movie, I, yeah, I think anybody could enjoy it. But I think if you had no background on Pokemon, you don't really get an introduction to like Ash, Misty, and all of them. Yeah. So like that would be a little confusing, I think. Yeah. I mean, the excitement of going into that, having experienced the world a bit, wonderful. Fantastic. Yeah. Amazing. But I I, I think Pokemon is pretty geeky as far as I don't know why you go. did that little look me up and down as you said. Geeky. Yeah. I think I'm a geek. For a loser. <laughs> geek does not mean loser. That's true. That's true. But I means loser. I am proudly a Pokemon geek. I will mm -hmm. always be a Pokemon geek. Yeah. Yeah. When's the next one coming out? The next game? Yeah. You know. <laughs> I don't. Is there anything coming out? Why would I know? <laughs> I don't know. I've been playing a lot of Baldur's Gate. I didn't even play the DLC. I know. I've been seeing you've been playing Baldur's Gate. Every time I'm on my computer and you play Baldur's Gate, I see. It tells me. I'm unfriending you on <laughs> And I, I've been editing more on that computer. So sometimes I'll, I'll get a little notification that Kelly's playing Baldur's Gate. So I'll be like, enjoy Baldur's Gate. Yeah, you keep texting me that. And I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Definitely not playing Baldur's Gate. <laughs> well, because most of the time I would be playing mm. video games too. But now that I edit on that computer, sometimes I'm like, wow, Kelly's playing video games and I'm working. Interesting. Let's see. Will there be a Pokemon? Gen 10. Pokemon Generation 10 reportedly won't launch until 2026. Damn, you got a long time. Well, that's okay because I never did the Generation 9 DLC. Mm. I don't care too much of the DLCs on the Switch because I feel like it's a lot of focus on legendaries. And you don't like legendaries. It's not that I don't like them. You it's just, just don't want them I, on your team. Yeah, I don't, I don't really care about them. Like, I've never been a person to like, oh, I got to catch all the legendaries. In the beginning... Yeah, up until Gen 3. And then it was like, oh, well, by the way, there's 16 legendaries in this game. And it's like, okay, well, once upon a time, there was three per game. Yeah, because <laughs> so like you want legendary, you think legendary would be more special. Yeah, like there really should only be like Mew and Mewtwo, I guess. Well, you couldn't get Mew in the game, the original mm -hmm. game. I know you can get Mewtwo in the game, but I wasted the Master Ball on the bird thing in the cave. Which there's three birds. What are they? What are they called again? Uh, Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres. Okay, I think it was. I think it was Moltres, but I, yeah, fire? I don't think it was. Yeah, the Firebird. Yeah, a little fiery chicken. Everyone calls him the Fire Chicken. Well, that's I who funny. I wanted. But also, did you notice the names? Is Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres? Oh, that's so fun! Yeah, <gasps> that's Spanish. In case anyone didn't know, Uno dos tres. Did they? Did they not know that, Leah? They might not. Someone might not know. 
Not That's everyone's true. Spanish. And also, it's racism cool. is bad. <laughs> in case anybody doesn't know Also, that. in case, yeah. Racism is bad and we love lesbians despite what Kelly is going to. <laughs> what? <laughs> this literally what? happened What is a slander? Ago. What do no, you mean? Because before when I was like, lesbians are bad. <laughs> but I didn't mean it that way. I was saying. I wasn't the one who said it. You said it. I said that I said it. <laughs> Kelly was going to clip me was what <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> despite what Kelly thinks, lesbians are No, despite aren't that good. Kelly was going to clip me saying that lesbians are bad this is going that's to what get i was gonna say true did you ever do that thing where you like go up to someone and you're like you know what it's wrong what they say about you you are a fun person and it's like what that's mean <laughs> it's very funny or when someone's like you know you look better in pictures you know what i would get all the time and i'm sure you got this all the time too are but you about you, to hurt my feelings no no you will you won't care because of the way you style your hair but i used to get you look so much better with straight hair people are always asking me to see my hair curly and i'm like first of all just so you know i dye my hair i bleach my hair it's not curly you don't anymore. Have, yeah, it's just frizz now. <laughs> yeah, like you, you're you not going to see it because it's not. But yeah, no, I hate when people do that. Or when people are like, oh, you look better without makeup. And it's like, well, I specifically do it because I like it. Yeah, makeup <laughs> is a form of expression. But anyway, I do. I, I love lesbians. Me too. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Despite what Leah thinks. Despite what I said earlier. <laughs> <laughs> just just by really of things this podcast supports lesbians. Love them. Heavily. Heavily. <laughs> well, anyway, that was enjoyable. I liked the movie. Good. I don't have no idea what we're doing next. Let's go play Pokemon. No. Did you not? You didn't see what time it is. Pokemon time. Oh. Yeah. Well, we're going to go play Digimon. That's a game. (laughs) They had a game, kind of. But again, it was not allowed to have it. Well, we all live in a Pokemon world. (laughs) We all live in a yellow submarine. Still wrong. Okay. Well, we'll be back next week with a show or a movie. We'll let you know. Surprise ya. Surprise. We're not going to tell you yet. We don't know yet. yet. (laughs) Stay geeky.